A summary Lamberty. And I'm Linda Lopez. And the day's top stories are straight ahead. The ongoing struggle between Michael Schiavo and the family of his wife have many people in our area and across the nation talking about their final wishes. But talking is not the only course of action you should be taking. Joining us this morning is the chair of the Elder Law Section of the New York State Bar Association, Howard Crooks. Good, Good morning, morning, Howard. Good to have you How with us. You? Part of your job, uh, a large part of your job as elder law attorney, is you help people plan for catastrophic events. What has the Terry Schiavo case done to your law office? Well, I think the most uh, primary thing that's happened as a result of the Schiavo case is that more people are aware of the need to sign advanced directives, including a health care proxy and a living will. And we've been trying to tout the benefits of doing that for many years, and now it's finally out there. Here's an example, the perfect example of what you say you have been telling people for years then. Absolutely. We're finally seeing this kind of come to fruition. A worst case scenario, but that's what you plan for. If there's any good to come from this case, it will be that it has heightened the awareness across the country and probably around the world of the need to plan for a catastrophic illness. So let's talk about how do you go about getting a living will? Well, you can get them from the internet. They're easy to download. Um, the one thing that I would caution people is that simply downloading these forms and signing them is not the way to go about it. Uh, these are complex documents that require planning and the advice of an elder law attorney to help you through crafting the document and seeing that your wishes are properly carried out. What are some of the things you, what are typical uh, things you discuss in a, in a living will? Well, in a living will, this is really an end of life treatment document. So you're talking about end of life planning here. How do I want to die? If I have a certain kind of illness, do I want to be treated for that illness? Do I want to refuse antibiotics? Do I want to refuse a feeding tube? These are all things that can be specified in the living will document. And if you have that, obviously your family has that and it works. Basically, it is your voice. That's it is, correct. It is, your, it, is your, it is your final wish. That's correct. However, one of the most important things that we can point out here is that simply signing the document in and of itself is not the panacea that people may think mm -hmm. that it is. Even with a document, and even if Terry Schiavo had signed one of these documents, there's still a chance that the family would be in a legal battle because they don't agree on what her wishes were. So the most important thing to do is talk to your family about your wishes. Make sure they understand and agree on what you want. Let done. everyone know on the same page. Uh, let's take uh, go through some important steps then when you when you make a, prepare a living living well and the first thing is hire an elder elder attorney like yourself yes the, an elder law attorney can help people plan for the dying process and also counsel clients throughout the process once the document is drafted uh, we're only at the beginning stages of what needs to be done. Discuss wishes, as you kind of mentioned earlier, discuss wishes with your entire family. Make Absolutely. Make sure everyone's on the same Clergy, page. Clergy, the treating physician, make sure everybody knows what your wishes are. And then follow through. What's follow that? through is the biggest problem and has been up until this point in time is that people, they'll go see a movie, whose life is it anyway, mm -hmm. they'll talk at that, you know, these issues at Thanksgiving dinner, and then there's no follow through. People are not then picking up the phone and saying, I want to sign my living will and actually doing it. Well, perhaps what's happening to the Shiloh family will make them follow through. Excellent. Howard Crooks, we appreciate your time here this morning. Thank my you pleasure. so much. And of course, if you need more information, you should contact the New York State Bar Association Elder Division. 8 to 637. Linda, over to you.